Ah. I went to the wrong one. That explains why there is no game. That's the wrong one, too. Eventually we'll get there. And we did! It just took us a while high. Hello, welcome to the stream. I had myself a fairly large... Burton... Burton? Jesus Christ. I had a very large bourbon and coke. Uh, with dinner. And this, uh, is a very large glass of Kahlua and milk, which is basically, uh, adult, uh, chocolate milk. Kahlua, milk, chocolate, milk, deliciousness for the adults in your life that never grew up. Mmm. <clears throat> Delicious. Ice cold milk from a glass with a little bit of that alcohol in there. Mm -mm -mm. It's a choice. <laughs> it's also my choice. Anyway, we're playing some Death and Taxes. Continuing with the story, I am a lowly employee of the underworld deciding who lives and who dies. What did I get from Mortimer? I don't even remember. I got all these characters now. Um, that's right. I don't remember what I bought from Mortimer before I played it. It's been two weeks since I played. Um, so it's work time, I guess. All right, let's go to let's go to work. Let's figure out who's gonna bite the dust today. All right, I will keep this short. I'm suspecting a systematic bias in our balancing methodology. What? How do I know? The last three. So these three. In theory. Assuming they came out in boom, 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 boom. Then boom, boom, boom. These were the last three out. Assuming that was the order. But they kind of just materialize out of the air. How am I supposed to know these things, fate? Fucking come on. I also got, I also got the little pigs. I remember the little piggies. They follow the big pig. I'm gonna change the music. Get a little more dancey. Which I feel like it's more of a dance vibe, anyway. Let's see, these are the three that would have to die. In theory. Take a look at who's biting it, then. Last three humans off the facts have to die. Okay. I'm counting on the accuracy of your judgment. There is no judgment. You told me exactly what to do. So let's take a look here. I think I need to turn down the music. It's actually loud in my headphone. Peyton Justice? Oops, this might be a bad time to let you know. I have an alter ego. His name is Peyton Justice. He's unemployed um, slash a copywriter. Train writer, but has always struggled to find work. When they aren't trying to find a job, they enjoy writing rap lyrics about street life. Does this look like the face of a man who should be writing lyrics about the street life? I mean, I you know what? That's cultural appropriation. So, yeah. I mean, he's he's out. The one with the glasses. I mean, this one has glasses. I don't look like Emile Bonneau. Um, electrician. An average... What? Looks like a single dude just wanting to be the next DM Eminem. Well, he's not going to be the next Eminem because he's going to die. Like half the rappers out there write about a life they never lived. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair. Why is that on top? Gee, many creeps. Okay. Avid, avid electronics enthusiast Sabrina has continued working as an electrical electrician. Jeez. Well into their retirement, although their grandkids keep telling them to retire, especially due to bad eyesight, the love uh, for their job will always win. I mean, they're 74. Peggy Azalea with her fake dirty South action. Small town Australia, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never listened to Iggy Azalea. Except for about half of that song. Um, what was her fucking hit song? I don't even remember. Speaking of that, she dies. I mean, she's a 74-year-old electrician. She's going to get shocked eventually. That's just for the love of the game. 
Went to college at 19 to study religion for the lulls. When weighing career options after graduation, they decided to become a priest again for the lulls. Some argue their detachment gives them the ability to give good unbiased advice for troubled souls. Yeah, I think he's kind of a dick. And since I was told to kill him anyway and I don't feel bad about it, let's just uh, throw him to the wolves. Now let's see who gets to live. Okay, the last three humans come from the back have to die. So that means more people can die? According to the language, I can kill more people. So if there's just any repugnant individuals unemployed from all the available activities, Zygmunt? Zygmunt. Okay, well I should get rid of him for that. That's not a, that's not a name. Zygmunt only likes watching TV, playing computer games, drinking beer, and eating pizza. Without even live streaming it at all. What a doofus. They live with their mother and claim to have no mission in life other than wasting the world's resources. Well, I don't really like Zygmunt. I'm thinking I'm gonna kill him. First alliterative Z name I've ever seen. Chipo Iwa Soleron. Celerin. Sport nutritionist. For years, Chipo's interested in the effects that different diets have on people lately. They've been working on the best of the best of national athletes, helping to improve their competitive performance. You know what, Chipo? I want you to live, because you seem like a decent person, and you're the first person that I can decide lives. We got Jerry, and we got Kevin. Kidnapper. That's his, that's, that's his profession. Probably kill the double Z-man. Oh, his last- I didn't even notice his last name. Zygmunt Zozi. Jerry's a creepy kidnapper. There's no way around that. Their latest plan is ambling near stadiums wearing a cute mascot outfit, then swiping kids who want to take a photo. It hasn't really worked out thus far because of the crowds, but when it will, they'll demand a substantial ransom. Okay, well, Jerry is literally planning to abduct children. I mean, I don't see why we need to keep him alive. So, fuck it. I might be, uh... I might be breaking the rules. Don't care, fate. That's just my general feeling towards, uh... Authority right now. And you know what? Fuck Zygmunt. Fuck him. You wanna waste the world's resources? Cool. Kevin, born and raised at that McIntyre Air Base, loves the thrill of flying planes in tense combat situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their spouse and seven-year-old child, rarely taking any time for themselves. You know what? We need to keep him alive. Maybe he'll uh, learn to loosen up a little bit. Maybe take some time with his family. I think that's it. We got a bunch of death. You know, we killed more than the three he said. All right. Those are my choices. Now let's find out how I fucked up. Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, All right, I yeah. The daily... I know it's not important to you, but I am doing my job today. Uh, let us get on with it. All right. I see more profiles than required. Bad job, I guess. I mean, you don't, do you even care? That should suffice, I imagine. Let's see if the questions are cool. I'll ask them. Questions. questions. I'm sorry to waste your fucking time here, man. You're just my boss. Fuck. I, I have, perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. <laughs> I mean, he should know what dying is like. He probably put people through it. No, they just said the three people have to die, not that they're the only people to die. I think he likes to hear himself talk. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Cool. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. Whatever. How about that? In the sense that humans consider it, no. This is just the pitch for the the next game these guys are working on. Hardly. Any other questions? Nah. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. 
Cool beans. Fuck your bow tie. And fuck your cat. Zero dollars. Alright, I'll take that. I mean, what am I gonna buy? Just more random crap from this dude? Coin, a thing that which makes up a large portion of money badge. <laughs> mm, that's just clothing, and that probably gives you the Anubis head. <laughs> it was worth it. Feels like it's worth it. What the? There's probably some achievement for opening all the or getting all the clothes. So. There be ancient civilization. How did you get there if you mostly traveled by boat? Once I dug out this particular golden icon. All while I was digging, the bowels of the world eater rang in my ear. Hmm. But I world eater. Dug until Some fat bitch eating worlds. No stopping me. Till the riches were secured. Ah, tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal if it does. Sweet. Thanks, brother. Oh cool, I don't have to talk to a disembodied voice who's gonna criticize me and shit. Where, uh... Look at that! So the Anubis... Got that guy? We got one, yeah, that's cool. Foxy. Dun 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 A foxy. Good as doggo. That's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Jackal. Stealth. Yeah. Still digging the plague mask. As we are still in the middle of a uh, pandemic. Seems appropriate. Alright, let's take a look at my work today. Instructions. I sensed a waft of air pass through the office earlier. <laughs> you choose better than yesterday, yes. Um, any humans who seem suspicious have to die. Who seem suspicious? I mean, that's that's in the eye of the beholder. We cannot. Perhaps the essence is of any doomed to death by your actions, Grim. We cannot determine the correct amount of humans. Whatever. <laughs> that is like extremely big. Fancy flying convinces government to increase funds of all-purpose fighter aircraft racer racers that have been struggling due to aircraft being bad at literally everything. Well known mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day because stadium officials confused. Respected nutritionists caught disturbing illegal performance answers to athletes in their care. House fire caused by faulty electrical equipment claims the life of a youth. Local electrician electrocuted after cutting wrong wire. AI breakthrough eminent promises founder of Transglobal Inc. So we got five. Let's see. And we gotta kill people who are suspicious. Leah Sarazin? I know it's probably deliberate and the game is becoming unreasonably vague about what it wants you to do. Yeah, it seems like that's part of it. Just get super vague. Hope you screw up so that it can yell at you and shit. Leah chose to learn the art of gastronomy because it felt like a decent and stable job. Good food is always needed. Aside from cooking, they enjoy long treks through nature and mountain climbing. Nothing. There's nothing suspicious about that. Nothing suspicious. What's suspicious about a person who wants to, uh, even though gastronomy is a different thing, at least it seems so. Rust Angelos. I'm fucking, that's a, that's a model name. And look at him. Look at that face. You can cut glass on that chin. Look at that shit. That dude is... That dude is banging whatever he wants. Boy, boy, girl, man or woman. Not boys and girls, because that's weird. That dude is just banging all types of tail, regardless of their gender or gender identity. He joined the firefighters, and he's a firefighter, yeah. Primarily to get access to free gym and to woo people at bars by flexing and repeating how they save so many lives. Curiously enough, every time there's a big wildfire, they take... That's suspicious. That's suspicious rust, you douchebag. Shannon Green is a squatter and dumpster diver who likes to renovate old buildings in order to live in them with friends. They travel a lot by train and manage a community garden. <sighs> that might be that might be weed. They might be cultivating weed, which not necessarily a bad thing, but 
Nephis. Temp. For several years now, Nephis has gone from one temp job to another. There's one more temp job and you're qualified for the real thing, the university consultant told them. But that was three temp jobs ago. That's just... That just feels sad. David Gerber, IT architect and AI researcher. Founder of TransGlobal, a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial research. Now, here's the deal. If we remember here, AI breakthrough eminent promises the founder of TransGlobal. I think we gotta kill David. Because AI... What we've learned from AI, AI only leads to the extinction of humanity. And that seems, that's suspicious to me. That's how I live my life. So I think we gotta kill David. Exactly. Felix, you understand, he could be programming Skynet. You know what? I don't want Skynet. I don't want to die by robot. You done. You done, David. Sucks to be you. Now this guy, I don't like this guy because he's using firefighting in that face and the gym to get pussy, but not actually help anybody, so I don't like him. You gone. You done, Rust Angelos. Let's see. Is there anything suspicious about a squatter and dumpster diver who likes to renovate old buildings in order to live in them with friends and travel a lot and basically train hoppers and community gardener? There's nothing suspicious about that behavior. You know what I mean? There's nothing suspicious about being homeless. Like, that's for... Right, Max? There's nothing suspicious about being homeless. You get the deal. Hold on. Max. Max. Fuck. <laughs> you don't like to be... You don't like to be held up, do you? Oh, shit. Shit. Really don't like it. The only way this would work is if I got you a thing to sit on while you were up here. That's the only way this would work, huh? Max, there's nothing suspicious about homelessness. There's nothing suspicious. He's not interested at all in talking to me. He couldn't be less interested in what I have to say. He is only interested in the ground. He does not want to be up here. Fine. Fine. You're back to we're not going to kill the homeless woman, Maxie. We're not going to kill the homeless woman. There's nothing... There's nothing suspicious about homelessness. It's just... It just sucks. Now... This might sound crazy, but I think the cook is suspicious. The art of gastronomy... Is just the gas the food has given you. The bloaties. You know what I mean? Hmm. This doesn't seem suspicious at all. That's just, you know, going from job to job. Um, let them, let them live. This is just suspicious to me. It's just suspicious to me. But you know what? I've been wrong before. Let's let him live. Let's let him keep cooking. And we'll call it a day. <clears throat> Let's find out how I did this wrong. Fuck this cat! Ugh, Lady Pat Poddington. You fucking bitch. <laughs> You're phoning in these now? From what? How hard is your job? Hello, Grim, are you there? 
That's just him avoiding the question. That's what that is. That's just him avoiding the motherfucking question. He doesn't want to talk about it. You may be wondering about who is in charge. I Ooh. Consider leaving Delaine again, but... Ooh. My hiatus is only momentary. I am sure we can manage these two days. Sweet, okay. But what of the conduct overview? You may be thinking. To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done. He has no he has no interest. No interest. He is phoning it in, literally and figuratively. Toodles, Grim. Toodles. Fucking lazy douche. Poor Hundo. Probably can't get anything in here for four hundo. You're such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. <laughs> Grim cape. <sighs> Need a little more for the cape. I'm gonna go to get. I'm gonna go for. I think I only have one week left in the game. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's see what's happening in the club. Oh shit, look at these suave looking motherfuckers. What's up? Look at that hair. What's with the mask, stranger? Did someone release the plague again? Oh shit, she noticed my mask. I don't think I've seen you here before. Let me guess. You're in the hmm. This same thing happened to me once at uh I was talking to a lady. And she found out where I worked and suddenly wasn't interested in what I was talking about. Circles, the vibe like you haven't slept for a thousand years. It is. <laughs> at least for me. Also, how are you smoking? You have no lungs. Well, you see, I'm also in the human department. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll meet plenty more. Provided you don't get fired. What? Also, how are you speaking? How do you have vocal cords? I figure you've been here a while by now. How do you feel about the work we do? Right? I've heard some spawns complain about insane working hours. But they yeah, lazy, they lazy spawns. Is it people in spawn cosplay? Cocker? Okay. <laughs> I haven't opened it in years. Cocker. What is Cocker? On your phone that shows you what's going on in the world. You've looked at your phone, right? Thought so. I mean, the instructions are the same every day anyway. Kill all door-to-door -door salespeople. <laughs> that sucks. Whoever your boss is, they hate door-to-door -door salesmen. What do I see in the app? Door-to-door -door salespeople guide. Great. So very engaging. I like this one's vibe. Stories of downright horrible things happening everywhere. I also don't have their name. Congratulations. What the fuck? Are we having a conversation? Huh. I've seen the boss like once. Not gonna happen. I bet it's all part of Fate's grandiose plan. But well, Fate, I think Fate's just fucking with me then. And who am I? A mere spawn to question it. Do they? So, We're talking to this, uh, kind of, what's the word, um, bored skeleton lady. I just do what fate tells me to. The decisions are not mine to make. Have you ever heard the inspiring story of Scully? Scully Fist. That's it. That's a winner right there. I'm guessing you haven't, since it ha 
happened way back, when we still used rubber stamps instead of markers. Okay. So Scullifus spent all day every day stamping profiles to River Dye. This is a made-up story, just to fuck with me. They got a grandiose case of carpal tunnel from all that stamping, but still they kept on going. Every day they received a heap of new profiles, which were basically the same as the ones they'd stamped the day before. Almost as if powering through the carpal tunnel wasn't making any difference. Almost as if it wasn't worth it. Sound familiar? She's completely disaffected and case, they kept going. done with all this shit. Stamping. Because they had to. Because when you give up, the cosmos, that meaningless entropy, it wins. <laughs> and I'm never gonna let that happen. Even if it means doing the exact same thing. <laughs> inspires me to wake up every day. Besides, as long as the coins keep coming, can we really complain? Yeah, real soon I'm gonna complain about how long it takes the bartender to make me a dang drink. You mean, what? Ignore my instructions? Won't that get me like instantly fired I want to get this woman fired <laughs> I could start sparing some of these door to door sales people maybe oh, what the heck oh yeah i'm going to get this woman fired Time for some of these sales people to live at well the skeleton they seem harmless enough you're a real special individual you know that right thank you what's your number Sweet. I hope. I may have just gotten this woman fired. What about this suave looking gentleman? Look at that. <laughs> Hear that voice? Look at that voice. Hold on, turning it up. I guess they let all sorts work here nowadays. The assemblage must be decayed. To him. Yet one must welcome the dregs, one must. What brings you to Florian the Eradicator? Florian the Eradicator? Holy shit. I'm that efficient in bringing annihilation to the herd. When oh, okay. So you got a big head about killing people. Okay. Cursing the injustice of a oh, he's a dick. Brain. Not that easy to understand. Still, fate expects us to be polite to one's colleagues because it advances synergy and improves long-term morale. <laughs> Can I make... Um, if, if I have at any point have a chance to make fun of his necklace, I'm going to. I suppose I must then do my best enlighten you on whatever <laughs> bothering you today. <laughs> Even Felix is like, I'm not down for this dude. And this is right up my alley. Of the bunch, when I aim for the jugular, I do not miss. With blood and guts, I will paint my magnum opus on the canvas of Cosmo. All flesh is temporary. We here provide the herd with an escape from escape from their mate prison. Wow, you're so intense. It is called salvation, or at least the closest thing they'll ever get. Of course not. Wolves okay, so you're not just a complete douchebag killing everyone. Make sure to enjoy every slash and stab. Take pride in a successful. I had such high hopes for you. 
For that is what we are born to do. Yes, we Deathbringers all have to die. Mm. Unthinkable. You mean to suggest I go against fate? I'm gonna convince. I'm gonna convince. <laughs> pretentious and psychopathic. This guy is a real race to good looks. I'm gonna convince this guy and the other woman to, uh. Be amazing. Yeah. A glorious day. But, ah, uh, such fantasy. I can bide my time until their atrophy. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insult this dude on the way out, cause fuck him. Lessons learned, off you go. Did you take a shit in that dude's next drink, please? What's happening, ladies? If it isn't the young Grimster, back again to delight my eye. Oh shit, am I a delight to your eye? Are you still wearing the same attire from before? Oh gross, it's been ages. Okay, well I like this suit. Jesus. Oh Grimly. This lack no. of uh -oh. transformation, no. It does not suit you. Oh, shit. Oh, Grimmy, this lack of transformation. No, it does not suit you. I've got just the thing to help you out. Something I've been holding for a special case. Oh, shit, she gave me clothes? Cool visage to make your day. Check it what? Out. Look at that. Prices averted. Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? Um... Uh... That make you suspicious? Of uh, what? Lumbering onward, unceasing, unfeeling, a deadly machine grinding lives to dust? I mean, y you sell drinks. Pretty spooky if you ask me. And if the choices made were incorrect. Like there's a tinge of arbitrary design in the darkness. Heckin' scary. Heckin' scary. One ought to heed instincts in collaboration with reason. Something mm. as powerful to me, yeah. Ah, but what do I know? I'm just the barkeep. So what can I get to? What is your thoughts on Florian? Heck. What can I say that you won't glean on your own? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, he's a douchebag. Act all suave on the surface, but truth be told, they're a proper jerk. I agree. Fuck that guy. At least when it comes to the job. Can't say I trust their judgment too much. Nothing to it. Don't take this the wrong way. I don't often disparage patrons of the den. We have here a shared experience. Yeah, hell. Just hoping they won't cause some sort of a major blunder. What else you got in mind? I, I just asked that. That one. They try to act, at least when it comes to the job. Can't say you'd think your profession needed conscientious workers, right? Don't take this the wrong way. Just Interesting. Hope else you Surprised they can. Sure. What's your poison? Ugh. Do I have enough? Other than silky milk to cover the way. <laughs> A drink of milk, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious. Delicious. Alright, well, I'm done with these three. Heading out. Minus a hundo. I mean, when you got a chance for some milk, you take it. Now, let's see what she gave me. She gave me a new visage. So, what does that look like? Okay. Ooh! It's the vulture guy. We got that, we got that. I need to change looks, but I gotta keep a mask on. So let's switch it to that. And uh, if we gotta keep the clothes. Oh, that's right, I only have a suit, son of a bitch. Let's go business. Because we're, we're doing business. 
in the day. Are there people in the thingy? No, there are not. Maybe F. Maybe F for the workday. Who knows? Let's get to killing. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, let me. Okay, does that say one human must be? Okay, one human must be spared. This is of utmost importance. So five have to die. Be careful to let the right person live. Ugh, so I gotta kill five of these people. Before I read it, I gotta answer this quick text. Um... Let's see what my decisions from yesterday's killings have done. Transglobal Inc. founder and CEO found dead at home. Cause of death, drug overdose. Haha. <laughs> oh, I also just realized that you probably can't read some of that. I also can't move it, so it doesn't matter. Investigators find plans for a massive surveillance system at the home of dead tech wizard. Young Cook discovers a new healthy way of preparing food. Doctors amazed. Firefighter heroically escapes burning bar only to be impaled by a forklift. <laughs> Genetically modified crops proven to be a hoax. Use all natural fertilizers. CEO of the Watt Watt social media platform planning to open a museum of an antiques and relics. Alright, so five people gotta die. One person lives. White collar criminal. Nora turned to a regular... Lenore turned to regular embezzlement after their multi-level marketing scheme failed. The beauty products and cognitive enhancers were just not selling. All of this to pay off their mortgage and to keep their child in a decent school. Nora films claymation shorts in their spare time. Okay, well, they're a white-collar criminal. They have a daughter, but, you know, white-collar criminals deserve more punishment than they get. We're going to leave you up there. Probably going to die. Jackson P. Ortega. Jackson doesn't like to... doesn't seem to get a break. They manage various projects, which all somehow end up failing. They used to be married, but nothing lasts forever. You gotta kill her, else I'm boycotting the channel. These <laughs> Miller scum. Their pet goldfish died one day. Their bike always seems to have a flat tire, and this just the beginning. Okay, well, Jackson just seems to have bad luck, and you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right, Felix, and when you're right, you're right. White collar criminals, multi level marketers. You did. All right. All right, editor in chief. Before Amandus, 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 editor in chief. Took over the Daily Moon. The newspaper was in decline with ruthless determination. They turned the paper into the tabloid powerhouse we know today. While recklessly digging through the lives of others, they've used the paper to suppress rumors about themselves. Oh, well, that's just a big old diggity diggity die. Fuck off with your tabloid bullshit. Uh, we got a golfer. Takahiro Nagi. Nagai? I don't know how to say it. Takahiro loves hitting a tiny ball with a stick. There's no doubt about it. Just whack that tiny ball real hard and see where it lands. Sometimes it even lands where it's supposed to. Oftentimes not. It doesn't matter. As Takahiro also loves refreshing walks and searching for things. Okay, well... Don't know much about him. For all we know, he likes to... Uh... Kill animals in his spare time. Um... Farmer inventor Ahmed Zakaria. Ahmed has never been happy with the status quo. Status, status quo, as in with whatever they're currently happen to have. They're always aiming higher and further, experimenting in various different fields in order to find new ways for ever more productive crops. Okay, well we need that type of thinking to get out of this. Uh, get a food shortages and food crisis. So we're kind of like this guy. Kind of like this guy. This dude seems useless. This dude just seems like a sad sack, but what about you? Legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider? Consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. The past five years, they've been digging up artifacts found around the Faradin region. 
Okay, well, Greedy Tomb Raider makes me think that he's, uh... The antagonist from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Belloc. And you know what? We don't need any more Bellocks in our life, so... Uh, boom Georgie, or Giorgio, made the decision. You're dead. Now we're down to this golfer, the project manager... Huh. Okay. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something, and I don't want uh, I don't want to offend anyone. But fuck golf. Golf seems like the most useless fucking thing ever. So sorry, Takahiro, but you like something stupid, and it's my choice ultimately. You done. You done. Unless we're talking mini golf, who cares? Now these two. Do I? So do... This dude, it could be turning around. Jackson P. Ortega. Could just be the next thing around the corner is what turns it around. But... This Ahmed guy, he's working in food. Always trying to figure out a way to make more productive crops. But the real thing is, he, is he ever going to be happy with that? Or is he going to try harder and harder until he fucks up royally? I don't know. I don't know who to kill here. Felix, who do I kill? You vote to keep Ahmed around. I, I just feel bad for Jackson. It's kind of like life never, uh, never gave him a break. But you know what? You're probably right, Felix. And sometimes you just get you just get the raw end of the stick until the end. That's it. We're done, Ski. But damn, maybe he wouldn't mind the release. There's no guarantee things will get. That's that's true. What the fuck do you want, whoever this is? When did you last smell the fresh scent of blossoming lilacs? Heard the soft cooing of a puppy bird with a bright plume? Felt the soft hum of the earth, yearning for attention. This woman. <laughs> Salt fills the lungs of innocence. If I ever play this game again, I'm only gonna say the weirdest fucking shit to this thing. The nature of everything. Oh, proud reaper. I don't know what you cut too deep. Well, that was the last thing you said. Who cares? Alright, Fate's Cat. What's up? Of course I do. Fucking cat's gonna fuck me again. I don't know how. Grim, ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Congrats. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem worthwhile. Yes, you expect your daily summary. But I still <laughs> cannot find it in me to burden my So sorry to ask you to do your job, man. So sorry. Am I still going to get paid? Alright. That's something. Who's in here? Same two people. I doubt there'll be new things for her then. The balloons will get you anything, mate. Let's do it. My, tis a true classic. Hell yeah. Me and me crew were sailing. Round the side polar terminus, freezing our nuts off, blinding storms, icy blizzards, them some roots. Spilling my milk. The bitch. <laughs> dog eat dog, they say. Or pirate eat pirate, more like. 
Got lucky to find a whole field <clears throat> of tundra cotton when we did. Made some cloaks to keep the bones warm. Much too warm nowadays, though. So you're more than welcome to it. Oh, thanks, Mortimer. Make sure I look fresh. See what this cloak looks like. Oh! Ooh, that's nice. Ha, <laughs> Christmas. Vampire. Wild. Witch. <laughs> Amen to that, dude. I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do Stone Cold Classic, just cause I, uh, I dig the black. I dig the black. And we'll, uh, head to bed. Two humans have to die. If a great calmness has enveloped the world, I do not see the need for many deaths for today. Two humans have to die. There's only four. Let's take a look. Experimental farmer arrested for poisoning Hector's. A farmland with homemade fertilizer, land unusable for years to come. See, the farmer fucked around, Felix. I should have trusted my gut. I should have trusted my instincts. This farmer turned out to fuck it. They fucked the land. <sighs> Noted archaeologist caught, attempted to smuggle ancient artifacts out of Ferdin. Shot by a militia group. Managing editor of the Daily Moon drowned after caught stalking and harassing offspring of local crime boss. Woman accidentally rams ex-husband with her car. Well, that sucks. Golfer suffers fatal head trauma at golf course. Black hole set to end all life, question mark? That's... It's not cool. All right. Two humans gotta go. Oh, we got a game developer. I mean, nothing important there. Oh, and a police officer. Things haven't been good for them lately. Mm. Grim, serious, heavy-handed Officer Coffin. His name is Coffin? He is Officer Coffin. That's... F <laughs> Read the room, Death and Taxes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you clip that, Felix? If you know how. Or anybody. <laughs> this cop is... <laughs> This cop is Officer Coffin. That's fucked up. I'm gonna have to kill him because fuck, dude. Has been described in this manner in almost every evaluation. They seem to get along with the police officers, but often have conflicts with those in charge. They have a tendency to eye everyone with suspicion. I don't know, but he's he might be one of those cops that's gonna rat out shitty ones, but fuck. Officer Coffin, dude. Change your name. Definitely change your name. Antonini and Antonini. Antonini Grimali. I don't know if that's close. Known for making experimental games and genre-bending art pieces. Lately, they've experimented with pain-based control schemes, facial feature-based difficulty levels, psychedelic imagery, and incredibly addictive game mechanics. Addicting game mechanics. They're one small nudge away from making a big hit. Okay. Well, this guy's 18. That sucks. It has been said that Matthias talks too much, however, they themselves think that they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are essentially fascinated by black holes. We need to keep this motherfucker alive. Because he might know something about black holes. Glory Magnuson Helberd. When still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extremist views on society and the world in general, up until the point that they grew up and calmed down, readjusted their innate interest in societal issues to gain a greater knowledge of history and the myriad structures that affect our lives. Okay, so they're a historian. So we got an 18-year-old student who might save people from black holes. We got a historian who might tell people how to better themselves. We have a guy who's making a game that might be a hit. And we have a cop that might... Hmm. Let's get it out of the way. What don't we need? On a base level. What do we not need in society? And I know how ironic it's gonna sound. We don't need video games. 
We don't. We don't need we don't need video games. Sure, they make life a little easier, but we don't need them on a base level. They're not food, they're not shelter, they're not mind-altering drugs or alcohol. I'm sorry, Anto Anto Antino Anto I also can't say your name, so you're done. Sorry, dude. Something we don't need. Now here's the other thing. We got something here that says... Black hole set to end all life. We got this guy here who is fascinated by black holes. I think it's kind of a it's kind of a hint that we need to keep Matthias alive. It's a hint. He's also only 18. He talks a lot. He probably annoys some people that are not miraculous. So we gotta live, we gotta die. Now here's where we <sighs> here's where we ask some questions. Grim serious heavy handed. Grab in a manner in almost every evaluation. They seem to get along with other police officers, but often have conflicts with those in charge. They have a tendency to eye everyone with suspicion. Now here's the problem. Does that mean that Officer Coffin will eye all civilians with suspicion or his co-workers? Because if he eyes everybody with suspicion, and that suspicion is to a degree that those people get hurt it's not good you know i don't want to do it i don't want to do it but i'm gonna do it Boop oh, shit that's the little springy thing on my door that i'm touching with my feet just so you know i think we're gonna save glory and we're gonna kill coffin my choice i'm sticking to it that's how it's gonna be that's how it's gonna be but that's right, I got the best newcomer award. Cool. Alright. Two in, two out. What's up, Fate? You're back in the office? Cool. Good to see you. Grim. How about we skip the pleasantries and get back to usual pointless drudgery? Okay. I mean, you're the one that left. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone seems to be up to their task. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, yeah. You? No, Grim. You have not. Uh-oh. Why am I... livid? Oh shit, he's livid. Because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to... remind me Oh, so you got in trouble for being an asshole? Oh, wow, what a shock. ...to our aspirations. Because they thought to admonish me for taking hmm. a couple of days to perform important research. It wasn't important. Your book's not going to sell. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes... Now, nothing in life is more certain... Nothing in life is more certain than... Yes. Exactly. Either way, the nerve they have to lecture me on how to do... Oh, that would be a fun way to piss off your boss. That's a good one right there to piss him off right away. I... It is rather irritating, is it not? Uh, no matter, Grim. Thank I you. I apologize for taking it out on you. Good night. And I did it anyway. Why? Because that motherfucker walked out on his job. I'm starting to deeply dislike this guy. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a douche. All right, Mortimer. Yo, what do you got for me, buddy? What can old Mortimer provide you with today? Clothing. Ah, a spooky tale if there was one. Let me know, Morty. I gothic like castle during me travels once. Seemed like good loot at first, but nay, a monster hunted them corridors. Head large and round, eyes shining like two lamps aflame. It was paralyzing. Never it was. Never been so frightened of anything in my life. Turns out, it was the Baron who'd got the curse of the Were-Pumpkin. The Were-Pumpkin. Full moons, though. 
And even then, only one month a year. So tis not much of a curse. Mortimer, you're the shit, buddy. Never change. Never change for these fuckers, bud. Alright, so we got pumpkin mask. What do you look like? What do you look like? <clears throat> yeah! <laughs> the pumpkin king! Rotten. What? Oh, what is that? I'll have to check out what that's for. Is that for having all the... I don't like that, because I, I kind of like the idea that I can't actually even see what I'm doing. Now this looks like an art piece. Had I... I think I'm coming to a close on this game, which is kind of unfortunate. Not right now, but it's kind of unfortunate because I have this kind of suit thing. <laughs> Like, I have this kind of jacket with this kind of shirt and this kind of tie. And had I realized that up until now, I could have worn it while playing this fucking game. Uh, but alas. The Grim Office. Go with the flow. My modest excuse is grim. Right, the situation is that everything just got jumbled up in our fax delivery system. You should listen to your gut today. <laughs> your gut, yes, because you are, you know, a skeleton. Okay, so, whatever I want to do. Whatever I want to do. Vast advances made in research for reusable fuel cells. Researchers credit young talent involved in special project. The golden age of multi-sensory gaming is here. Everyone is playing the languid tower and several languid likes are already being developed. Did the language teller kill its creator, abusive police officer, stabbed by their spouse? Oh shit, he was beating his wife! Officer Coffin was beating his wife, and we murdered that motherfucker! That's what you get, motherfucker! Don't hit your wife! Day one shit! Welcome to our history, a new series on the structures behind the shifts and changes of society. Cool. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so we got, we got nine. We got nine people. And just go with the flow. Okay, what do we got? Podcaster, comedian, and sad person. Wow, this feels oddly pointed, even though I don't call myself a comedian. I like to make jokes. Dane is basically a default human with few to no none bells or whistles attached. They sigh a lot and are often grumpy. They just sit in a corner silently. It may be their secret way of coming up with jokes. They're an originator of a comedy podcast about bad films. That just makes me feel sad because I, I I don't know. I feel very connected to that person. Damn, you made a solid call there. Look, man, can I sniff out women beaters? That's the real question from this gameplay. Maybe I can spot and sniff out them women beaters and murder them. Alejandro Garcia, digital sports commentator, is a well-regarded dude that are mesmerizing voice, quick wit, and hot, some say spicy. Okay, that's slightly racist. <laughs> they also express themselves through cosplaying as their favorite video game and television show characters. Alejandro is addicted to playing. <laughs> All these really cool things that are endearing and also addicted to painkillers. Um... We gotta we gotta consider that because he might get somebody else hooked on painkillers, but he also might realize that it's a deeper issue. Maybe get some counseling, some therapy. We'll we'll we'll, we'll think about him. We all have our vices. <laughs> Militia trainer and leader, enthusiastic outdoorsman Leah has been skulking the forest around Cosmopolis City since they were a little kid. With every passing year, they've grown more paranoid about the many organizations, so they. Decided to set up camp in the middle of the forest where they train new members for a clandestine militia. Hey, bud! Fuck you! Enjoy death! Okay. Forklift off, 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 off. Forklift operator. Luigi Wah. 
Luigi is a revolutionary, a radical, an avant-garde hero of the people, an ultimate underdog, vanguard of charge, beloved by all. They love cruising around in their forklift at high speeds, which, considering the forklift, is not very fast. Okay, well, well, well that seems like nothing important. What well, began as constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Sahara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the uh, asteroid destroyer unit in the military. Yeah, definitely keep you alive. That's important shit, so... So far we got two lives. Data scientist. Who needs statistics when you have a fancy algorithms and amazing concepts like AI and machine learning? Not a uh, Kar Kar Karpova, that's for sure. They just... And put the data in and regard the results as absolute truth requiring no critique. The almighty machine knows it all. I don't trust Anya. I don't like this attitude. I don't believe we should trust the almighty machine. I think we need to question the machine. We need to question uh, what the machine is doing because that's how Skynet starts. And you know what? I think, I think you should know that, Anya. I think you should know that. So you've wasted your life. Should I... Should I save Alejandro? I don't know. Ron went on a backpack, pick, blah, 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 backpacking trip around the world to discover themselves. After a year of being broke, homeless, and unhappy, they found themselves back at home where they decided to take up some nice and quiet sheep herding. We, we, need, we need to herd them sheep. And you know what? He had some experiences. He found out it's not what he wanted. And he's only 19. You know what, Ron? You heard them sheep. You heard them sheep. You know what? Good for you. Good for you, Ron. Stay-at-home parent. Okay. Ruffa enjoys spending all their days at home caring for their three kids. Recently, they agreed to become a surrogate for a same-sex couple. Another perk of being a stay-at-home parent for Ruffa is the possibility to play Planet of Peacecraft at any free moment. You know what? I mean, I don't want to take a woman away from three children and, and becoming a surrogate for a same-sex couple. You know, and we're going to keep them around. Seem very, uh... Seem very cool. Letting a lot of people live. Ike. Ike is certain that speed is the most important thing about an ambulance driver. Relentless speed, immaculate handing, handling... At work, they braid their hair into a rat tail and have earned the right to wear a custom-made bright orange jumpsuit. <sighs> hmm. I don't know for sure, but I think this dude is going to get other people killed. I think Ike is going to get other people killed. Just based on this description... Relentless speed, immaculate handling. Immaculate handling isn't forever. And that's based on the idea that the car will always have imma immaculate handling. And all it takes is one slip up and now you're in an accident. <laughs> exactly, Felix. This guy is, this guy is, uh, he's doing, he's, he's too crazy. You know? He's too crazy. We need, we need... We don't need stunt drivers. You know what I'm saying? We do not need stunt drivers. I think... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See if that helps. Just adjusted something to see if that does something that hasn't been doing this whole time, hopefully. All right, Ike. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna roll the dice. That if I don't do this, he'll hurt other people. Now we got these dudes. Alejandro, you know, people love him. <sighs> but is he going to drive on painkillers? Is he going to kill somebody? You know, you, you got to think about the future. <sighs> and what about this guy? Revolutionary, radical, and avant-garde hero of the people. Ultimate underdog, vanguard of change, beloved by all. But he's a forklift operator. I'm wondering, is he going to lead some type of revolution? Are people going to get hurt? You know, the other guy, they grew up, they matured, they uh, they looked at their radical ideas in a new light. This guy's 36. Is he going to do some fucked up bullshit or is he going to wreck his forklift? 
you know, I'm kind of curious about it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he lives. I'm gonna say he lives. Why not? We're gonna give him, we're gonna give him a pass. Now this guy. You know what? I'm gonna kill him. Why am I gonna kill him? We got enough people doing basically the same thing. And a little bit of self-loathing. Now Alejandro. I feel like we can let Alejandro live. He just seems like a decent guy with a problem. <sighs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna defer to your judgment, Felix. I'm gonna defer to your judgment. We're gonna let him live. And I was just told to go with my gut. What do you want? Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? You've been clicking around for quite a while. On all the things you see scrolling by before your eyes. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the screen is too bright? The sound's too loud? No, no. It's you who died and found your way here. To my do the office, where you belong. I do understand that they're breaking the fourth wall. That stupid voice that's just been annoying this whole time. What's up, Vate? Grim, welcome. You know, pursuing my art has given me insights. Solid. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance worth and meaning a disarray of thoughts okay listen is death really such a bad thing it would be better for everyone in fact do these humans even truly exist their ephemeral being leads to no relevant outcome good point it is all transient no matter what they do or achieve in life They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance, considering them the center of the universe. Amen, brother. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Stars explode, galaxies form, or get torn apart. There are departments even for these events. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. They are not at all. and insignificant yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences, millions upon billions of them, everyone considering themselves unique. I, I like this guy all of a sudden. And technically they are, I suppose, on a minor scale, yet also exceedingly similar copying each other, living through similar events with similar basic reactions. While the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot or not even experience or perceive, ever. Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their <laughs> subjective experience or understanding. Do you know the saying, Grim? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, good, yes, imagine that, life reduced only to some human vicinity. The ultimate height of arrogance ingrained in them, to imagine their presence to be paramount. The tree does not only sound, it has been sounding a long time. It has grown without anyone present. It's Amen. The life. None of this requires humanity and a woman. to be there to bear witness. <laughs> All of these are kind of backhanded. 
I agree with everything. Can I also get a daily? I mean... None of these really seem nice. I agree with everything. Fine, let me gather the files. I certainly put them somewhere. He is checked out, dude. He is gonna quit the job. Oh, yes. You absolutely did everything correct today. Such meticulous profile work. Happy? Sometimes I do not comprehend you <laughs> at all. Well, that concludes our meeting. Good night, Grim. Cool. You have my money? I'm gonna head down to Morty's. I mean, you're the one confusing me, man. You want know, some fucking existential crisis. It is an utmost pleasure to see you again. Ooh. Ooh, I can get a bow tie. I can get a bow tie, Felix. So I can look exactly like my boss. Maybe I'll have a cooler bow tie. Hold on, is it available in there? If I ever return to the seas, fuck. I'd have ye on me crew anytime. Ooh. Dear me, tis a tragic tale. Oh you no. Hear of the Dia de Mortos? A wild Day of the Dead. Place. There we was, celebrating the passing of me amigo. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mess stuck to me face. Never uh -oh. knew where it came from. That's but not I necessarily a good thing. Memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headed be carried by another. I must inform you of the severe event. The atmosphere seems to have cracked open figuratively. We will see where it takes us. Four humans have to die. That means only one person lives. Let's take a look at the news. Small militia group gets into a gunfight with law enforcement. Several people reported injured. Ambulance gets broadsided by a truck. One dead, seven injured. Joins Paralyzed Digital Sports League. Full-time commentator. Comedian chokes on stage. Literally several droughts worldwide. Seen as existential threat of once booming agriculture. So, ooh. Hopefully, somebody that might fix this agriculture thing. Okay. Branch manager. Meal began their career as a customer support agent in a well known corporation's overseas branch. They climbed up the corporate ladder and are now looking to keep the branch running through economic difficulties. They are currently visiting and trying to negotiate additional funding. Jamil, I don't have a lot of hope for you because you sound like a corporate drone. Don't really need you. Okay. Mathematics teacher. Miss Vanderpool. Doctoral thesis was about calculating the parameters around conflict situation. Afterwards, I decided to put up research to the test in a rough enough environment. School, they're into skiing and crafting like paper versions of fractals. Like the Minger Sponge. Don't know. Cow Calf Operator. Generational farmer. Reggie has taken care of the family's ranch since adulthood. The ranch itself has seen better days with most of the livestock lost to severe droughts and machinery completely dilapidated. Reggie is trying desperately to restore the ranch to working order for their small family. Okay. Construction overseer and aspiring architect. Lifeblood of any advanced civilization. High rises strewn across a glorious site, but we can do better. That's what Natsumi thinks. Lately, they've started researching more ecologically sound architecture. What some people might call archaeologies. Well, I like that part, but... Pig farmer. Ao has been herding pigs for 40 years, continuing the long line of pig farmers and their family. Ao religiously wears the green boots every day, believing the touch... Well, okay, well, I don't, I don't see the point in you living anymore. Sounds mean, but you're just a pig farmer, and you believe in... Um, lucky boots. Mathematics teacher. I mean, you know, you did some cool things about mathematics, but we don't have a mathematics problem now. We have a 
farm problem. Now the question is, is this the person that's going to get us out of it? Also, this guy, fuck this guy, we're done with you. You worked really hard, and you're at the top of some corporation that doesn't actually care about you, so... You get to sit over here. But let's talk about this. Who is going to help us out of this problem? Person who has real motivation to do so in the field in which there's a drought problem. Or this person who is making more ecologically sound architecture. You know, I'm, I'm just feeling it. Just feeling it right off the bones. We're gonna let this dude live, and we're gonna kill this woman. I think he's gonna get us out of this somehow. That's what I'm picturing. Probably not true, but that's what I'm doing. And we'll see what happens um, as a result. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, new mask, right? Ooh. Email Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos mask. Pretty cool. Alright. What's well, cracking? Ah, the beginning. It has the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass. What are you talking about there, bud? Every ray of light. What are you talking about? It is a captivating day, is it not? <laughs> I know so, Grim. Never before have I experienced such He's gonna quit today. <laughs> uh, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. Who cares, Grim? They are a bore. Okay. Not much else to say. Go on. <laughs> get back to work. I trust you to make the correct choices. Cool. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done while there is still time. I don't get it. I don't get what's up with this dude. That is super suspicious. And that day. Mortimer. You got the bow tie. I lost all count. Fuck. Mm, maybe after I get paid. Assuming I get paid, I can get that, get that bow, bow, bow tie. It doesn't make this fucking impossible. Six humans have to die. Oh boy. Oh dear. The oceans are boiling. This is certainly going to affect international trade. Fuck me. Terrestrial rains, pellet, unusually arid deserts causing massive mudslides. Young cow gives life. Save ranch owner from barn fire. Economic wunderkind found dead in local park. Officials <laughs> suspect heat stroke. Warm up people dying of starvation in developing countries. Violent clashes break out after death of mathematician. Opposing factions disagree over how to apply the calculations to achieve base. Local pig farmer slips in pig manure, hits head on water bowl, and dies. Their green boots reported stolen. Ooh, yeah. Famous burger joint, St. Bronx under scrutiny by Ethics Commission. Okay, so six humans gotta go. This guy's a waiter. I don't hold a lot of hope. Serving tables since they enrolled in college to pay tuition fees. They constantly dream of a better world, longing for their childhood simpler times. They plan on taking... A gap, y gap year after finishing the college to see the world as troubled as it is. You're probably gonna die. <laughs> crane operator. Jafar is a mediocre crane operator. They make a notable amount of mistakes. They blame others for those mistakes. Jafar is an alcohol problem. Get abusive before... And they... <sighs> Fuck you. This dude's done. Also, their name's Jafar. Fuck off. You named after a Disney villain. Your parents basically decided your fate. Man is a person of simple pleasures. They are living out their... Retirement in the rural areas of Cosmopolis. Waiting for not much else than the sun to rise the next day. They enjoy reading science fiction books and crafting lucky charms. Well, Vanna, you know, you, you lived a good life. We gotta, we gotta kill sexy, uh, you're number two. Poultry farmer. Jerome loves birds. He started an egg farm several decades ago, but when business was not going well, they also had to start selling the meat. 
which is emotionally very hard for Jerome. They hold a little funeral for every bird, which include little speeches and a bit of crying. Okay, Jerome, well, I'm going to kill you, not because you love birds. So much reading in this game. I'm trying to do most of the reading, oops. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, do my best to do most of it. Um, fuck birds. <laughs> Well, also, fuck Jerome. We're gonna kill Jerome. Radical climate scientist. As the world oceans grow more hostile, ADO has undertaken a top-secret solar mission to nuke what is remaining of the polar ice caps in a wild attempt to cool down the planet. Ever since being a young student, they've always dreamed of saving the world and being completely misguided in how to do it. I think we're gonna kill ADO, but I'm just gonna keep that there. Birds are great. <laughs> you stop calling each other birds in the chat please stop the bird accusing uh pop music i have icon tiffany tay her her face looks like an old man's i mean you don't have to be attractive to be a pop icon but it helps and that looks gross despite their young age tiffany has become a somewhat successful pop icon Tiffany tries to shake the fashion world by not only wearing secondhand clothing the most recent fair is a pair of funky green boots from the vicinity of a pig farm. She stole them. She stole them off a dead fucking farmer. Fuck you, Tiffany. You bitch. Die at 19. You're the worst. Gangster. A life of crime has been in Henny's life since they were born. Part of a gangster family. They have taken quite much of their supposedly shared wealth. They're looking to spend the rest of the days in an apocalypse bunker. Henny is actively hunted by the rest of her family in a vendetta. Well, you know, let's just let them catch up to you. Why not? The print is so tiny, too. I mean, I, I I don't know what you're watching it on. That could be <laughs> that could be it, too. I'm watching it on a, on a monitor. <laughs> so, do we save the waiter, or do we save the radical climate scientist who wants to blow up the ice caps, thinking that that'll cool down the planet, which I don't know how that is possible. Um, you know what? I don't think this will work. So we're gonna kill Ildio and we're gonna we're gonna save the waiter. I don't know what this means. I think this is just the world around us dying. <laughs> I'm gonna find out that I had to just pay attention to that this whole time. <laughs> oh man. I did what I was told. What do you got to say? Hey, what pray tell happened to the world? Sure you do. It's the culmination of all your choices. What? Do you know the story of the wyvern and the prince consort? Are you going to tell me the whole thing? Of course you do. A young, quick-witted prince consort was once kidnapped by a wyvern. Using their gift of charm, they tried to alter the ways of the wyvern in order to save their land. Cheers. Soon, the beast and the prince found resonating ideas and ambition. They molded the land in rather inept ways, whilst thwarting attempts of rescue by the queen. Then the wyvern, tired of the desolation, ate the prince. And flew away. Yes. Okay. Yes. It doesn't matter if your mistakes were countless or few, as long as you learn the lesson. <laughs> we are thankful of our time together, even as it's quickly running out. It'll oh, okay. be pretty horrible from here on out. At least they're honest. I just did my best to do what the guy told me to do. Grim, I find myself at an impasse. Good, I live to help you out. Should my prose be more experimental? Or should I stick to traditional narrative technique? Grand, yes. The exploratory aspect can lead me across the boundary. <laughs> guy only cares about his book, man. I mean, he doesn't care about the world. You are still here, Grim. I guess you want to talk about work instead? Uh, fine. 
Let us take a look at the situation. My, so much chaos. I don't think I'm responsible for that. I'm doing what you say. Everything is on fire. While ice invades from the polar zones. How did that even happen? Endless mountains of trash, undrinkable water, unbreathable air, toxic pollution. The ultimate ecological masterpiece. And in the center of it, Kathleen Holmes. Kathleen Holmes? A human could be this destructive. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. Are you sure you are trying hard <laughs> enough? Ah, <laughs> uh, what is done is done. Apparently, is apparently it's just fuck it, you be. killed these people. Cool. While you Solid. Live. Off to work, Grim. Certainly you have no time to waste now. Cool, I just want the clothes now. All right, bow tie time. Gonna get me on that bow tie. Oh. Um. R.I.P. Fashion. Don't tell your captain about this. Tis one of theirs. Stole a great deal of time ago, though. <laughs> like tis between two months at least. I remember it was like yesterday. Barely made it out of the wardrobe alive. Have you seen how far it goes? Many skeletons are in there. Almost <laughs> became one of them. But you can't trip old Mortimer that easy. Oh, that's because you're, you're legit, Morty. Let's check out that bow tie. B -b 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 bow tie. <laughs> Death and tuxedos. Hardcore. Old timer, hot dog. Pineapple. Manny. King of Halloween. So this is obviously. So obviously what they want you to do. I, I went all the way around rather than just do. That's what they want you to do. Obviously. It says it right there. I kind of like this one, though. Look like a professor. Yeah, I mean, I played it. Well, it was gifted to me by the very kind and generous past tense. But, um, I played it around tax season in America. It's tax season. Which, uh, um, because it's called Death and Taxes, it seemed like it, it added up. So, that's why it seemed like a good idea. Absurd scene as notorious mafia family seemingly massacred itself with infighting. Deranged scientists crushed by stolen nuclear warhead in Cosmopolis Harbor. Authorities utterly baffled. World leaders warn of radicalization as disaster looms over human inhabitants. Failing supply chains cause starvation deaths all over the country. Elderly people hit the hardest. Local fast food establishment ignores corporation orders and distributes free food for the needy. Well, that's cool. Drunken crane operator trips, tips crane into the sea. <laughs> Tragedy strikes as young pop idol slip on stage, hits Aiden head and dies. The green boots they reportedly wore have gone missing. The world's oldest person is still around and kicking. Cool. Two humans gotta die. There's only three of them. Jiminy. This is a first. An entire continent has turned into a desert. There are not too many humans left there, but now is their final hour. Two humans gotta die. A CEO, a politician, and a guy who's retired. Hundred and fucking four. Teen. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look. Oh, jeez. Ryu has been aggressively advocating for a new radical policy which completely eliminates all taxes. 
Any and all vocal opponents are mercilessly mocked. I mean, what did Texas ever do for us anyway? Gatiana, nicknamed Gal, has groomed from an early age to take over the family business, which happens to be one of the largest food and beverages companies in existence. In their free time, they enjoy long-distance hiking, survivalist exercise. Justice takes greatest pleasure in listening to wondrous bird songs every morning after they wake up. Birds! Well, we know... We know Oops would rather I kill this dude. Most of their time at home as moving around has become burdensome, although it's still possible. They love vanilla ice cream and bananas. So, I gotta kill two of these people. I think this one is gonna fuck up the food and beverage. I don't know which way, though. <sighs> Fuck this dude, because he's a politician. Don't like politicians. Justice, you've been living long enough, why not? I mean, what are my decisions doing anyway? I'm pretty sure the whole world's dead. <laughs> Future is grim, fate. I have a feeling this is like the outcome no matter what. I have that feeling about it. Mm, hello, Grim. I have been absorbed in my work. Tell me, how goes it out there in the wide fate unconstrained with nothing to stop it? Seems a terrible power. Yes? Yeah, a little bit. Endless rows of industrial smokestacks pumping out poison. Chemical waste pooling into the groundwater. A total collapse of the biosphere. My, my. It truly looks like the end. I am giddy with anticipation. Now, now. Do not be so hard on yourself. I think the point of this game is like there's nothing we could have done about it. Look at the time, Grim. <laughs> Precious moments wasted. Enjoy your night. Morty! What do you got for me, buddy? Anything in here? If there's a way to do things differently. I think I got all the... Yeah, fuck it. We'll just go to bed, see what happens. Do your, do your job. Wow. How nice. The few remaining humans have to die. Unbeknownst to themselves, human society has finally collapsed. Whatever normalcy and humanity was left in the world is now swiftly fading. Fucking A. CEO of Best Foods steps down as company valuation... Valuation? Takes massive tumble due to worldwide food shortages. World's oldest person finally sheds their mortal coil at a credible age of 114. Unrest grows as the world population faces imminent collapse. Insanely thorough science report shows mankind is utterly doomed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it says both these people have to die. Um, Louise is a rising star in a local surf league who sometimes rides the waves in silly costumes for charity. Recently, they attended a Tiffany, Tiffany Tay concert where they found a lovely pair of green boots just lying around and took them home. You stole the fucking boots, dude. You stole the boots. You're dying if you steal the boots. I don't care. You're stealing boots. Yafi has finally gathered enough data to postulate that humanity is completely unable to cope with recent ecological changes. They recently published their work on social media in hopes of leaving a warning for the next generation, if there are any. I mean, do I listen to them or do I just keep her alive? I mean, what, what, what could I really get?
I mean... Deathbringer. Time's running out, friends. Used to belong to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad landed in their village, gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike, and let Lacey Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. He was two faced? Civilization died that day. The rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then make room laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, it is useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner. Oh, it's just a coin for flipping that I won't probably use. <laughs> imagination to pretend this is a world where you were competent. Oh, wow. So you're a bitch. Cool. So, what comes next? Too late. Unless you cobble together a bit of temporal manipulation. Hop over to a different reality and do better. That'd really be something. If such a button existed, it'd obviously be called, like, New World <laughs> Go on, Oddball. Nothing else to wait for. Me neither. Sometimes, that's the best we can do. We've reached the end. In general, I mean. Not with us. We will never leave you. As long as there is a you, there will be us. Until the next round. There's a way to play this game and win, then? It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. An immaculate execution. So you wanted me to end the world, then? <laughs> The planet is virtually uninhabitable. The few remnants choking on noxious air. It is the last... Yeah, don't get a boner about it, shit. Slowly going up. It is a bit of a somber moment, now that I think about it. I have been with them for so long. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. Maybe the answers lie in the book. Yes. What? Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. Cool. <laughs> Zero bucks. Oh, cool, Morty. Mighty Storm. They were probably so stoked that they came up with this character. Many of me made swept into the icy depths of the unforgiving ocean. I, the sea's a cruel mistress. No ways about it. All of a sudden, the beguiling song of the sirens reached my ears. Sirens. Now, you think sirens would sing a four? Trying to lure ye to wreck ye ship on the rocks. Nay, nice. sirens be having a bum rap. <laughs> yeah, people have always been talking shit about sirens, man. Even tried to save 
some of me mates, but twas too late. Many claimed by the copper. Afterwards, we all, sailors and sirens alike, got exceedingly drunk off some grog we found. Hell yeah, get fucked up. Tis but one in me endless horde. Ask for more any time. Ye have heard of me many exploits. How about ye regale Mortimer with a tale of grand adventure instead? Fire away! I was working at my desk. <laughs> uh -huh. I see. <laughs> the story didn't make any sense. It was a most remarkable tale. A marvelous memoir. A marvelous. With a romantic undercurrent. That story. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where how this is going to work. <laughs> In return, I offer you a gift. This here contraption is called a phantasmalizer. Use it to measure the many spirits ye have imbued into your gullet. Handy after any visit to the tavern. <laughs> a, a breathalyzer? <laughs> That's a weird thing. To me, Emporium. Congress awaits. Later, dude. Hey, so I killed the world, huh? Got here a couple hours ago. Hmm. Word is you've caused a huge mess out there in the world. Yep. Everything's like burning, drowning, dying all at once. It's like you had it locked down. I suppose you'll just have to live with it then. The ruin on your hands, the office, disgrace. Thanks, I guess. I guess you ain't the hero of this tale after all. I guess I'm not the hero, Max. I wonder what's going to happen with the office now that you've got very little left to do. I mean, probably restructuring. Time to get that last drink, huh? No thanks. Au revoir, Lil Reaper. Lil Reaper? Seems so mean. He says it like that. Well. And what happens tomorrow? Oh shit. Breathalyzer, cool. Last human. The last human must die. It only lands on... It only lands on Skull. It doesn't land on anything else. There we go. Jiminy Christmas. One last living entity stumbling across an endless wasteland, drawing their final breath. For a weekly newsletter, tragedy strikes as young surfer slips on a pier, hits head, and dies. Their green booth wash off to sea. Feel the night creep inside our bones. Let us stop and wait until we freeze together. Well, goodbye, Zing. 
I didn't know what else <laughs> I'm supposed to do. Not much you can do anyway. Basically, the weekend only has... Alright, Fate. Do your last thing. Day, Grim. The last choice. So, no, it does not. <laughs> One human is not enough to save the species, after all. No, it isn't. <laughs> it got Grim. Nice choice of words. Of the last one. No need for such. That would seem fairly obvious by now, I gather. The great dying is by my design. It is true, I do not love humanity. Not a bit. <laughs> the only way to do it. Why, you ask? I have grown tired. This dude was gonna do it, the, no matter what. The only way it would have worked is if I didn't listen to him. The endless tirade of death. It is all meaningless, you see. An endless loop of monotony that I cannot escape. That we cannot escape. Do you know how long I have been doing this? I barely remember myself. I am exhausted and sick of it all. I wish to stop, but no one can leave until the job is done. But if the great dying claimed them all, then I could be free and claim the rest I deserve. <laughs> so, I helped the great dying along, piece by piece. No need for an equilibrium. This office will not be necessary, and we can all fade away. <laughs> Your hollow <laughs> judgment is insignificant at this point. Yeah, well, you're still a bitch. You're still an asshole. Off you go, Grim. Do what you wish with these final hours. We will not be meeting again. Cool. Global warming. <laughs> the world exploited. Well, you're welcome for the bummer, guys. Didn't realize it'd be like that. I thought I had a chance to do some decent things, but not really. Fellow traveler, that was fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did largely screw everything up. The world is Thanks. in shambles and all. Can't really change that. But I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. Hmm. <laughs> the real thing I need to ask myself is, do I plan to play this again? <laughs> eh, maybe. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I'll get through this shit. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. We, um, well, your new job 
as an over... I know what you are thinking, and yet, as it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? To be honest, remember, we keep humans from falling off. If you want to work here, you will. One more thing. Yeah, I don't need to listen to you. You're a bitch. Show us what you are made of, Reaper. Um, I do get to keep. Oh, that literally shows the world getting better or worse. Holy shit balls! All right, well we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna put this in here. We're gonna put that in here. That up there. Put that in here. Put this little guy over here in the corner. Put that guy here. Put that guy right meow. And why? Wait, what the hell? Okay, well that pig doesn't want to move. Cool. Anyway, thanks for watching some Death and Taxes. <laughs> I uh, got possibly the worst ending you can get. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but. You know, maybe I'll play it again on stream, maybe I won't. Maybe we'll play something else. But I'll play probably I'll probably play this in my in some private time to see if I can get some type of ending that isn't so shitty. But until then, um I will be seeing some of you hopefully Friday at eight o'clock PM for a film. I believe we're watching The Last Woman on Earth, which is not a sequel to The Last Man on Earth. And Vincent Price isn't in it, which I know is a bummer. So hopefully it's uh, fun. Um, <laughs> it'll hopefully be more fun than this was. Uh, thanks to Felix for hanging out and oops. And anybody else who was here but not uh, chatting in the chat. Hope you have a good one. Please wear a mask. Make smart, healthy decisions while we're still going through the pandemic. And get vaccinated if you can. Have a good one.